Okay, so Ben here. Uh, a little bit later in the day. Uh, it's not as hot right now, so we can kind of do some recording. I apologize, I've been working all day, so I, don't, I look a little disheveled here. Uh, but I'm going to kind of take you guys through some of the regular stuff I do on a daily basis when I come in here and just check things out. Uh, we got here the pond. This is a, a pipe that leads to some reservoirs, um, just in case. I go out of town, I pre-treat some water. There's a float valve here also. Inside the tank there's a little float valve, just in case I'm going to be gone for a little while and I just need water to, to regulate in there. Um, we've got a couple different things growing. These floating plants, it's difficult because uh, the fish will eat any sort of root. We actually recycle our roots by just feeding them to the plants if we have a plant that dies or something. Um, so, you know, some stuff grows well in here, lettuce and everything, but also it's really hot. Water's sometimes hitting 85 degrees, 90 degrees during the day. Uh, so it's difficult to grow lettuce and, and other leafy greens in this temperature. This is a uh, Blue Lab pH pen. You can get it online at any local hydroponic store. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's just got an on-off switch calibrate unit, so you can switch the unit increments. Um, and basically, I kind of stick it in here. It's glow-in-the-dark also, which is nice in case you're working in the evening um, or, you know, in a part of the year where it gets darker a little bit early. So, like, right now we're at, let's see, 6.2, which is uh, good. I like to keep it somewhere between 5.5 and 6.2. Um, Okay, so what we've got here is a, um, this is a flood table. Bought at a hydroponics store. I filled it with some hydrogen. We've got, you know, there's a little drain inside of here where the water floats out, you know, flows back into the tank here at the base when the water level gets too high, and it leaves a little bit of water at the base. It's kind of, you know, different levels, so always a little bit of water sitting in there. We've got a lot of different things growing in here. We have beets. Uh, you know, this is a Chinese lantern chili plant right over here. Um, you know, we've got some onion over there. Those don't really do as well because of the variations in the heat and kind of the different levels of nutrients in the water that we've kind of had. Uh, you know, here's some artichokes in the back. The real major thing that's growing is this melon here on the far side we put in here. And I mean, look at that. We're getting actual, you know, this is a heirloom seed melon. I don't know the name of this one offhand. Uh... You know, we've got a couple of those growing around. I'll kind of take you on a tour of those plants in a minute. Up here, you know, this is kind of where we start our premature plants out. They sit in these little bays, and they've got their own drippers going, uh, and the water flows down back into the tank. You know, it's good for plants that maybe don't have the root system that can sit in the pipe already um, and just kind of, you know, get their water source from the water flowing down the pipe. So we start them out in here, and then we move them to a larger area. Pause it,